A very good morning to you. Morning. I hope you are cozy and it's pretty much as I've been reading all the comments that it's rainy and breezy all over the UK. So it's a perfect day to stay in and do some beading and crafting or whatever you're doing. I think it will be definitely a staying in, in a cozy That's chair we're doing. With, a, <laughs> with a blanket on your lap and do something. How's everybody today? Um, oh, <laughs> I just read the next comment. Elaine is saying, I just said Beautiful it. Beautiful sunny. sunny <laughs> here in the Highlands. Right, Elaine, we're coming to you. Yeah, we all need to head to the Highlands. <laughs> That's it. So how long does it take to get there? We'd maybe be there by dinner time. You reckon? <laughs> if we start now. Right, very quickly. Gonna Morning, say, Lucy. Gonna be quickly going to say hello to you all. And then we're going to get cracking. So I've got the lovely Sarah here today. And um, we're going to be going through more and more of the findings <laughs> today so I'm um, just sort of talking about um, you've only made it we're only about halfway through the warehouse so far aren't we I know and I what thought, this is I, I number thought, five I thought Four, I'm gonna five. do the all the whole warehouse in one hour in one go and it didn't really happen did it <laughs> Right, so let's just quickly say hello to you. If you're new today, please put new in the comments and let us know where you're watching from. We love, love, love meeting new people. If you don't know us, I'm Kitty Robinson, Sarah Millsop. Good and morning. we bring you Be The Goodiness every morning at 10 a.m. Right, good morning, Lucy, Nat, Camille, Jan, Paula, Margaret, Rachel, Lucy, Camille, Dee, Leslie, Nat, Carol, Margaret, Lisa... Mina, Diane, sometimes as I'm scrolling down, I might have read your name out twice. So I'm uh, just sort of just getting on with it. But I don't really want I don't want to miss anybody. Morning, Mercia, Sheila, Francis, Debbie, Diane, Jean, Elaine, Debbie, Anne, Lorna, Sharon, Leslie, Jean, Morning, Margaret, Sue. Lots of Chrissy, you lots of, lots of Mercia, Brenda, Joe. Sue, Angela, Philomena, Elaine. That's see some and new names today as yeah. well. We've got some of our familiar faces, but some new names as well. Say hello. Let us know where you're Lamsa. from. Um, I hope I said um, sad weather in London. She's saying Lamza. I hope I said your name right. Morning, Sandra Ellison from New Zealand. Ooh, good morning. Or morning. Is it good. Don't know. She's I'm ahead. Times. She, I'm so rubbish with times, and so you ahead. So it must be about five p.m. there. I think we had this. Yeah, America is before, and that that the other way. That way. That yeah. way. <laughs> anyway, let us know what time is it? Um, New Zealand. I think it must be about five six p.m. Oh, Simon just shouted from the other side of the house. It's the evening. Uh, morning, Diane. Good evening. Um, morning, Camille is saying no blanket on my lap, but good. Good buddy dog. Oh, Aww. lovely. We miss my dog, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When Kitty stayed last week, she had some lovely cuddles with Earl. And I was hoping she was going to bring him down. <laughs> no, but He's we, at no, home. No, we made friends and then she didn't. So I was a bit heartbroken, <laughs> but never mind. And morning, Elaine, Francis, Pamela. Pamela's saying good morning, Kitty and Beating Family from Washington State, I think it's supposed to be sunny and in the 80s. No. Oh, Whoa, nice. Nice. But I think if you are there, it must be about 5 a.m. where you are, isn't it? Or something like that. So really early 6 a.m. Maybe do let us know. Um, Lucy's saying she loves the rare hair stores. Morning, um, Sue, Paula, Liz, Diane. Leslie, Sarah, what goodies are you taking home with you? A car full. <laughs> Most probably, yes. I normally have to put the seats down when I leave. <laughs> Leslie's saying hello from Hertfordshire. Um, Hertfordshire. Uh, uh, Hertfordshire. Hertford Hartford. Hartfordshire. Hartfordshire. Like, That's the she's, one. She's going to be my speech coach from now on. <laughs> speech coach. <laughs> I'm so Just rubbish. nailing the accent. <laughs> morning, yeah, nailing the accent. Morning, Teresa. It's like when I asked my children, like, do I have an accent? And they said, no. <laughs> I was like, I think I do. It's like because they hear me talk all the time. Yep. They're so used to it, so they don't pick up on it at all. But I'm going to sing 77 for so far. That's for the temperature, I think. Um... Morning, Pamela, GT, Mags, Diane, not curly, yeah, no yeah, curly. No curly cuddles no today. Curly. <laughs> Pamela's saying 2 a.m. That's that's in Washington State. Oh, wowzers. wowzers. Good so, morning. Good morning, like, or a good. And Teresa says night. 5 a.m. on the coast. 5 a.m. on the coast. 
good morning to you as well. Oh, ladies, you're hardcore yes. beaders yes, up so waiting for us. <laughs> um, Zoe's saying hello from Guernsey. That's I wondered if you were going to get that one, yeah. Yeah, I did get that one, yes. <laughs> I'm so rubbish at um, reading out names. And, and um, Isla Shbury was um, Osbury. And I, Aylesbury. <laughs> Aylesbury. And I, keep, uh, I drove past there. There was like a big accident and I was in the queue for a long, long time on the M25. And I came home and we were talking about it. And, and he's like, where did you get stuck? I was like, I stuck there for two hours. And I was like, I Lashbury. <laughs> and Sam was looking at me. What are you talking about, woman? I said, the yeah, Ilesbury on M25. And he's like looking at me. And he said, do you mean Ellsbury. Ellsbury. <laughs> yeah. But if you read out the sign, so I if you're in the UK, if you read out the sign, how it's spelled. But there was... Um, is like that, isn't I it? I used to work with an American lady and she would... Uh, Loughborough was Lugabaruga. Because you just read it as yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, good morning, Margaret. Margaret says hello from South Wales. Vet South Wales. Um, good morning, Amelia, Janice. Right, we better start um, cracking on with the demo. And actually, before we do that, I'm going to go to the next screen. Sarah. And got some exciting news. Sarah's so has got something to tell you. Last month, we said we'd have a maker of the month. So this is something that we're going to do going forward. We have our Totally Beads groups. So from the Facebook page, if you navigate through to groups, we've got Totally Handmade by Totally Beads. There are um, about 1,500 of you in there now. And um, what we said we would start to do, because it's a, it's a fabulous community. So if you like having a little chat with everyone on the uh, Facebook lives go over to the group because it's on there all the time um, you can share your pictures of your makes you can get top tips from people we're always on there but also our customers are as well so what we wanted to do was just reward you for the time and the effort that you spend on there some of you are so helpful you come up with amazing tips for other crafters mm -hmm. um, really active on there and we love what you're making as well you've been kind of sharing designs of things that we make in the Facebook live so so, um, so. we're going to send a £30 voucher uh, for the website as a thank you to, to our Maker of the Month. month which is Lorna. Yay! Oh, hold on, I need to press the sound. I said, oh, is my oh she's been practicing this. Wait, oh, let her do it. Are you practicing this? We're going we're gonna to be let her have a moment. this morning. I think it's hiding behind my comments. There we go. So, Lorna, yay! I hope you heard it. Because you can't hear it because our, our sound is on mute here. So we can't hear what you're hearing. But I hope you heard that one. I love it. Um, so, Lorna, if you are watching, um, thank you so much for everything you do on our groups you are absolutely fabulous i know you've helped out a lot of our beaders and our crafters um it's a lovely community and we will send you a little thank you for all your contributions and your active role on uh, the uh, totally handmade uh, group so um we will pick somebody else for october keep a little eye go and join the group you can get so many different tips and tricks and ideas in there and if you're ever stuck then it's a really great place to get some information from as well so thank you lorna so it will be in the handmade group so we yes, are monitoring totally handmade. handmade handmade group we have got some other groups which um like we're doing all sorts of different things there's good things coming in the we've got so much planning so much planned out we're gonna like shuffle things oh out. she's here this is such a lovely thank you so much thank you lorna well done let's i will just saying i will send you a message afterwards um i'll send you a message and then i'll email it through to you you can cool. get spending away. <laughs> oh, bless. Right, okay, so let's get started. I'm going to turn you down into the on the bead mat and we're going to get started. Don't go anywhere. You... Oh, I was going to go and get my laptop and answer questions, no? Um, I don't know. I can answer questions to you. Keep okay. Going there. <laughs> no, we're right, jump rings. And I'm going to hand you two jump rings because you know jump rings so much better than I do. Actually, if you're here, we might as well pick your brain. So, jump rings come in all sorts of different sizes. This is the 8 by one millimeter, And um, we do six different colors like we do in all the other findings. These ones are really fabulous. So, when you're doing chain mail, the larger sizes like these are great to practice and learn with. So, things like your helm project, a colors. Byzantine weave. If you're struggling at all, go for the larger size. Learn the pattern in the larger size move them down um learn the pattern in the larger size and then you can start moving down towards some of your smaller sizes which will give you a more intricate finish yes but so the sizes what we most use is that eight by one millimeter the six by one so i'm just gonna actually let's put the um 
the other one next to it so you've got comparison to the same thing we just leave one or two out so that's the six by one millimeter and then we also have a four by 0.7 millimeter which um and i still haven't finished my byzantine bracelet with those no it's so gorgeous, but it's a little bit more time consuming. But so the that's how looks and the intricacy you get in the pattern. Small really is that. So and not just for chainmail, these are for attaching on your clasps. If you've got larger clasps, sometimes you need that little bit more movement, the larger jump rings all the way down to the smaller ones. These ones all have um these ones all have lovely splits in them, so you will twist these to open them up, which means you can use them to connect any charms on, you can use them to make your patterns with, add your clasps on, lots of different things. Now there is an oval jump ring as well, which actually we never really use and never really feature it, and I quite like the oval jump ring, because the cut is on the oval side of it. Let me just zoom Darren this says, one in. how do you get work done with all the giggling? Oh. We drive Simon a bit I crazy. I know, really very, very hard, isn't it? <laughs> Just zoom in a tiny bit more. So the overall jumping, the cut is right on the wider part of it as well. So when you connecting necklaces and bits of pieces, sometimes it's great to use oval jump rings because then um, they um, they don't they don't pull apart that easily because and they the cut sit is properly, don't they, they sit properly as well. So that's your overall jump rings. But jump rings do well. We got, even got uh, three millimeter jump rings. So if I just grab one, I'll show you. You can go down to the tiny little ones. Yeah, I haven't tried this one yet. <laughs> we need to do I'll something at, with this. I'll stop at the four mil, I think. We need to do something with this. But They're if you if you're doing a delicate necklace or not a not necklace, so if you're doing an earring and um, you only want a little connection on there, you don't want it to because sometimes I think that can make and break your necklaces or your projects that your jump ring is too cumbersome on there isn't mm, it mm. so sometimes you might need a little three millimeter just to connect up a tiniest little chain to your um to your air wires mina's asking if we've got closed jump rings yeah we do yeah. mina they're coming up they're coming up we so jump rings and i'm not gonna show you all the different sizes because they're on the website but i'm gonna show you the largest size we do and this one oh, is two millimeter by four like two millimeter thickness and it's 14 millimeter in size so with this one i would use for key rings i would use for some places where um i need that strength obviously this is really really strong you it's like you know quite hard to open it and close it but they are for handbag charms um or anything like bigger one you want to use but as you, if you do 10 mil 12 mil 8 mil all the sizes they're all on the website i guess do um check it out right um one more thing i wanted to show you is in terms of Love jump these. rings so if you these are really I don't, I don't know if you just said it because i walked away but you could even brick stitch little seed beads and bits and pieces i would do that those. on a closed ring not on an open ring because mm. with the open it's a ring nice thickness. um sometimes it can slip on it and um and i i I'll, I'll if i brick stitch around the ring i always make sure it's a closed ring just pop these back in oh yes that's what i went to get you Oh yes, very good thinking back Trusty then. assistant today. Mm -hmm. Very good as that one, isn't it? Right, so moving on from jump rings, um, the, the next one are the closed rings. Now, closed rings are exactly the same. <laughs> Let me just get you a bigger one out. Exactly the same as jump rings. Circular in um, shape, but these ones have got... Lorna's just asking Completely. if there's chainmail patterns for the oval jump rings. No, there isn't yet, Lorna. I'll I'll get on that for you. I will have yeah, a little look to see. Would, wouldn't it? So the closed rings are exactly the same as the jump rings, but they have been soldiered shut. So you can see. <laughs> let me just see. You can't really see the connection. That's how good they are. You can't see the connection on there. But um, there is no cut on it whatsoever. So if you need something where you don't want it to open up at all, like brick stitching around 
um, a particular shape or like you know if you're doing necklaces and you're gonna connect into with a few pins and you want it really nice and secure then um, I'll use these closed rings now it comes That's in many different sizes and just a comparison I'm just trying to find the open bags here because otherwise I'm opening all these bags and uh, they, the guys are gonna tell me off and that's this is eight mil that's 10 mil this is six mil and it goes down to four mil in size so the four mil i often use like you know when we did um the plating and we connected it to a closed ring before we pulled it into the bead cap so because we connect threads to it or tie threads to it you did the plating one didn't you yes um, seed bead plating the seed bead plating so because you tie threads to it that would be good for the macrame bracelet as well yeah. that i did with the seed beads it, the, the it can't come off mm -hmm. right let me just pop these back on right split rings we are going very fast through the rings although i'm um, like i feel like we should spend time on them because they are such a they are your bread and butter because you will you use them all the time you need them all the time in your projects but i suppose we all just sort of have them so let's correct cutting like split rings so split rings oh francis is asking if she if we can put our faces in the corner so oh, she can no, see you we forgot about the faces we're hiding <laughs> we're hiding Hello. hold on let me just change this to a wide so you can see both of us. Let's just minimise that a little bit. We don't want it too big. There you go. And so, right, okay. So they are your split rings. So the split rings are, do you want to pick them up and mm. show them? Exactly the same as a earring would have it. I'm just going to grab you a bigger size. In a different Trying to balance color. it. So we use, no, you show So it. you can see yeah. it's just yeah. like a... Yeah, you need to show it here. Oh. It's just, <laughs> it's just like a, a coil, so it's exactly how sort of your jump rings would be made, wrapped wire all the way around, and you, as you can see, it's got sort of three rotations in there. Oh, I'll show you on a and bigger good, one; that'd be good, easier. Good for um, loads of things as well. We did one of the good. For, I like to use these as decorations as well between beads. I'm um, just use it as a space bead, or um, use it for you know. I use it in the beginner's um, guide to chain mail, I think, I did with, when I did that project. I used it in that one. That was great as well. They're really good to thread on to. So if you're doing like stretch elastic bracelets or something like that and you want to add some charms in. Why did I get this one out? I'm mm -hmm. not sure. Mm -hmm. um, there's no bag. There's no bag. I made the bag disappear. Pop it there and I'll put it away after. That's all right. Pop it in the box. <laughs> She's the boss. They, she they, can put it they, where they're she They're going to tear me off. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> right, so we done one shelf, so that was quick. I really wanna move through the whole of this. And that was our extension lead just falling off the little makeshift table. So I'll hand you to Sarah for a second <laughs> until I sort this out. While you memory it out. wire, lovely. Okay, memory wire. I'm actually gonna be doing some um, with these uh, in the week coming up. We've had quite a few memory wire projects since we started in March. Um, and we've had quite a few kits as well so I like to do things like adjustable bangles um, whether you do multi layered so I'm actually going to do some plaiting with it as well to show you how to do um, lots of different things it's something that I did years ago and I had some kits and um, lovely Camille who is normally on here messaged and said can you just remind us how to do it I want to make something again so you've got different sizes they normally come in these little slinkies i'm loops. trying to find one that's so they come in little slinkies and you usually said 20 loops 20 loops on the spools and then you've got various different thicknesses so just like with your wire various different thicknesses so if you're going to do things like my adjustable bangles where you're going to need it to hold its shape then the thicker wire is great for it so we've got 0 0.6 0 0.8 1 but not even that we got 50 millimeter one so if you are making something for like children or, or like, yeah. you know really um we got smaller size as well so this is the normal size the 60 mil is the normal size what i would make or you would work with but we do do a smaller size as well if you do need a smaller size and not along they come in that's your bracelet size and sarah just picked up the necklace size one so let me just move this out a bit and i'm gonna 
zoom out so, so you can, can actually do memory wire chokers which are really nice um if you're just going to use it as the main frame around so you're not going to coil it around you're just going to have it as individual pieces mm. you can also multi-layer them um i think i'll do i'll um into our little list today i'll add in the memory wire necklace as well um so bracelet size necklace I my, size I got my, I got and then the little, little mini sizes too yeah so shall i just pop you on the list yeah. right now memory wire necklaces because otherwise we will and my plaited it. my plaited bracelet as well Let's find a so what we tend to do when i come when i come down to see kitty we do like a month's worth of planning um so. and then i have to take all the kits away with me don't i shall i keep on going with your memory yeah. wire there is a ring size as well i uh, if we got the rings where is the ring size gone Nope. Never mind. We find it. Ends. These are the ends which we're going to have in more colours as well and we're going to do loads of bits and pieces with it. So I've been working on these. So I've also got um, a peyote bracelet that I'm going to bring you. Um, odd and even count. Um, there are various different ways that you can finish. So with our little... Um, bracelets that we were doing the other week uh, with like your brick stitch and stuff and such if you're doing any loom work then these little end caps are fantastic you've got the clasp little attachment on the end for your clasp and then inside is a hollow tube so as you can see here it's got like this little lid up on top you will just take your row of seed beads so for example if you've done it on the loom you're going to take your row of seed beads slide the last row into here and then when you're finished you just close that lid over with your pliers and it will give you a really lovely finish. So you can see just along here, you've got that little run that your seed bead thread will run through. They are fantastic caps. Um, these ones are called slide connectors. So if you want to find them on the website, they're called slide connectors. Uh, can we have a memory wire ring demos, please? Yes, Sam, if we find the memory wire so I just pointed out you could make you know the fifty millimeter loops. You could oh, make nice little earring hoops. Earring hoops you could do with that. that would look like good. that, yeah. Um, chainmail with the oval jump rings. Thank you, Pamela. Pamela's that that needs there. to go on there as well. Um, Lorna's saying, could you use the necklace memory wire to make a dream catcher? Yeah, you can. Oh, yes, you could. I did love that. it. I, I did use the necklace memory wire. You know, when I did the um, garden decorations, I used that one because it just keeps that oh, nice yes, with shape. Oh yes, little butterflies. The butterflies, yeah. What have you found there? Uh, w clips. So I was using these when we did. The um, chain. Sorry. The money chain. Yeah, the money chain. So we had these lovely loops with seed beads and. Um, pearls and they made beautiful bracelets these were the little connectors that we used the w clips are fantastic for those um see brenda's asking for the link this is why i was going to go back to my laptop the link for what um is that the link for the slider clasps i'll go and get my laptop now and then i'll do is it Molly while we're on here. There? i'll go see oh um sorry just gonna find out so moving on right these ones so, um, you know, Tiger Tail comes in different um, thicknesses as well. So these are the screw catches. And I'm just going to grab a necklace and show you how they work. Because we do sell the thicker Tiger Tail. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, Is there different sizes or just the same one? Just the same. I'll have to find them. Blake, oh, there we are. <laughs> we had a little move around in the it was I know it was just behind we had a little move around and the things move around so these class work this way they are really really great we do have the thicker tiger tail as well which is um a millimeter and it's got more of a strength in there and then just screw apart and then you can crimp them on there so if you want to make a smaller necklace or you want to make a larger necklace you can always um, take the thicker tiger tail and just make one of these and they crimp on there so those little ends inside there would crimp onto your tiger tail and then you just screw it together and you got a really nice and easy necklace that's going to wobble so be careful <laughs> so it's like, well, where can I go? Where I'm can I go? So it's time to find somewhere, somewhere to go, somewhere to put a laptop down. So yeah, so these um, crimp, crew crimp screw catches for the thicker tiger tail, 
um, worth to just to have some. Where is this came out from here? So we do have a silver color and we had a gold color in that. Right, moving along. Oh, she found a chair. Good days. Cream beads. Now, cream beads, again, we do stock six different colors. Um, those, <laughs> this is, again, your bread and butter, or this is your tea for your cup of tea, or I don't know, what's the most essential thing in your kitchen? What's the most essential thing in your kitchen, Sarah? Me, my kettle. <laughs> the kettle. <laughs> So this, this this is your kettle and there is a silver <laughs> one as well. Because these are the things what, if you're working with tiger tail, if you're working stringing your necklaces, which I'm just going to grab one here. Oops. The cream beads are inside the culotte, just in there, holding your necklace up. And that is what holds all of your necklace together so we had the jump rings just a minute ago and i'm going to show you these clots as well in a minute and how they work but the cream beads are inside your clots so you're hiding them you're crushing them down with a pair of pliers and um oh diane has posted the link for brenda thank you so much lovely thanks i can't even find our lives so um, <laughs> i'm struggling <laughs> She's, um, Sarah's, Sarah's on it as well. So they are your cream beads. They always have some at home. Now I do like to match my cream beads to my other findings. So I would have silver cream beads with silver colored, silver jump rings and silver lobster glass. And then I would do the same in rhodium, the same in champagne, um, same in rose gold, um, gunmetal black or gold. Because when you make up your necklace, it can be... You know, you think, oh, well, I'm going to use a certain color, but uh, once you made it up, a different color might fit that necklace better. So I do always um, adjust the color of my clasp and the color of my findings to the color of the beads I'm using. Blake is agreeing with me. <laughs> right, cream beads comes in different sizes. And um, and then we're gonna go on the cream covers. There is a larger one as well. This is um, three millimeters. If you want to do anything uh, more strands together, and then be moving on to cream covers. Now cream covers are. I'm gonna open this bag quickly. Are these little C-shaped things, just like that. And if I pop this up, you could, so if you are not, not using culottes and you want to hide your crimps, you would use this to add it over your crimp bead. You would close that little C into a nice little ball, um, really nice and um, give you a very nice and professional finish. And I'm just going to move up a tiny, tiny bit. And this one again comes in different colors and different sizes, um, all six colors, um, what we have the findings it comes in. And there is the bigger one, I'm just going to show you. So this is a five millimeter one. So that's the difference. So this is three millimeter one and this is five millimeter one. Now it looks bigger than a five millimeter because the size is referring to how big is when it's closed, not when it's open. They're really useful to have as well in your stash because they can cover up all sorts of mistakes as well. So good things, very good. Right, moving on, crimps, crimp connectors. Now we've got a couple of sizes, this again comes in different colours, I'm just going to grab a couple. These are for your ribbon jewellery or you do anything like that or if you use, um, like if you use this um, on the flat wax cotton cord, I use this crimps, gives you a really nice and professional finish at the top. Um, just hiding your ribbon inside and... Um, and then you can attach the class nicely and easily. So that's, the, this is a sort of, I got a few at home. Um, nice quick fix for things as well, because like if you got like a strip of peyote or, or something you want to do, you can put it over that as well. 
so they great now moving on to the next one so these are a little cream round cord crimps so they are your little crimp ends and there are comes in different colors as well now this ones you would um can you just grab me or if you come here then i go and grab it a little bit piece of leather cord now the one on the roll So these are your crimp tubes. What we would do is to add the leather cord inside the little crimp and then the um, ends are going to fold on sort of over top of each other. So we're just going to... Have you found it lovely? Just one second. Oh dear, Sarah just asked me, what did you call what you're using right now? I was like, crimp something. Um, so the round one is called a round cord crimp. And it's three millimeters nice. So I got a bit of a leather cord here. So with this one, the leather cord would go inside it. Just like that. And um, you would line it up so the leather cord finishes just at the end there. And then you would crimp these, push these ends in together with a pair of pliers. So one slightly overlaps the other. So you have a nice, um, a nice finish there. Just put my hand behind it. Um, I love this because it gives you, and then you can connect your magnetic glass or a lobster class, anything you want with a jump ring. Natalie's asking, what ends would you suggest to go on tiger tail so you could attach a lobster clasp or round clasp on, please? Right, so the ends we're going to need for tiger tail is either going to be a wire protector or it's going to be your clots. And that's on the next row, so I will come to that one. Now, there is another cord cream which is for flat ones i haven't got a flat uh, piece of cord with me but that would work they would add your cord inside there and then you would fold either end down so you have um, a nice professional finish as well now use these cord crimps with um mesh as well because you can squeeze the end together and just put it right in there so again these are very useful to have in your stash just to you know, if you if you find that you use, I don't know, black plate the most or, or gold plate or silver plate, then get a few different bits of pieces in your stash in that colour because you always got what you need. Uh, Elaine is saying I need to stock up on these. Right, moving along. What I have here is people not normally know we do these ones. So these are some glue on bales so if you have got a flat back stone which hasn't got any um, holes in them you want to secure something to it so we usually do a glue on bale and I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see it better that's it so you would use a glue on bale it again comes in different colors different sizes different shape this one is a little heart one at the back but we just use you would take a stone and glue the stone to it and you would see the end sticking out above the stone or glass cabajon or anything like that and um, the rest would be behind it as well but as i said there is different shapes and different sizes right moving on from that extension chains um, extension chains do come we do some with a little drop at the end and we do another one which has got a little heart on the end so these ones if you make a tiger tail necklace and I will show you just in a second we were going to talk about the clots if you make a tiger tail necklace and you want your jewelry to be multi-variable if you're not quite sure what size you need to make it to because you perhaps you make it as a gift or you're doing it for um, you know you're doing it for sale these are really good things to have because they would attach to your jump ring on this side 
and just pull this down. You would attach it to that end, and on the other side, you got your lobster clasp, and that can close into any link on that chain, and it's really great. Sorry, Maxine's asking what type of glue would you recommend for the glue on bales? Well, the, uh, the glue I use most is the E6000 jewelry glue. It does, all, <laughs> does have to dry overnight, but it's a really nice, strong glue. Right, so these ones are really good to have in your stash as well. Again, comes in different colours, and um, you could do all sorts of different bits with it. I've taken that one out from that one. Right, necklet, nec necklace tags. Um, these used to be necklace tags, a big thing, along, I suppose, probably about 10, 15 years ago, weren't they? Mm. they? Everybody used to use these little tags. Oh, come on, I... The bag doesn't want to open. Let's open another bag then. So these necklace tags, what they are, they're just little tags. So instead of using a jump ring to close into, you would add one of these to the end of your necklace. And uh, then you would close your jump ring into that little hole on the necklace tag. It just makes your necklace a little bit more tidy, makes it a little bit more... I don't know, professional. I personally, I'm, I'm fine using just a jump ring, but um, it's personal preference, like anything, that um, how you want to make your jewellery. Right, moving on. Ball chain ends, culottes, and another cord crimp here. Different type of culottes. Now, colors again comes in different colors, and there is two different type of colors. I'm just going to show you the silver, but they do exist in all the different colors we do. Right, so this is a ball chain end. Let me show you this one first. So this one I would use if you got a chain, the last link of the chain would just sit in the, to that little cup and then you would close it together and put your jump ring through the end holding the two ends together um, this is not really suitable for cream beads because the cream bead can slip back through it so this is more sort of a ball chain end when you got like a, a larger ball um, where you can connect it onto now clots these are again your bread and butter or shall we show your biscuits now because we had bread and butter <laughs> <laughs> this is your biscuit the, the jam to your scone. jam there there you go this is jam the jam 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 you need the jam everybody should have at least some jam at home uh, do you have gold clothes back in stock so not gender yes we do actually i just look I, I, they were out of stock and i just looked at it and they're back in stock now <laughs> so i'll show you so you're in a sec so this is clot number one if i pop it in here and bring it up can you see or is there going to be a glare on it right you still got the little hole at the bottom and that's that's where you would poke your tiger tail through crimp it inside there you would close your um a lot and then you connect this loop to your necklace which I believe this one this necklace is actually that type yes you fold your end back over so this this necklace is that type because that little ribbon it goes around and you fold it in your um, Clot. Now this is good if you're using something or if you're using a clasp like um let me just grab one like the magnetic clasp. Grab a clasp, any clasp. So this clot is great if you're using a magnetic clasp because if I'm adding a magnetic clasp to the end of my tiger tail, I don't uh, really want to having to like yeah you could you could do it this way that you connect it up with a jump ring itself but if you just use the clot the clot can straight go into the end of that um obviously there's nothing to hold on to here go straight into that loop and once you crimped it and you close it up it just gives you a closer and nicer connection to the end of your necklaces so both 
type of clothes have got their uses and what you're going to be using it for. So that's clot type number one. So this one's called clot. So this one is just called clot on the website. And the next one, what, what we use a lot as well, is the clot with a loop. It's a little bit confusing because they both have loops on them, but this one is more like a ribbon end, if you think about it. You're going to loop it around your clasp, but it's a ribbon end. And the other type of clot is this one, where do you have the loops on it. So both of the sides, both of the ends, has got a loop on it. Again, you will come through right in the middle. You're going to come through right in the middle there. Crimp your crimp bead inside and close this clot up and then connect your... I wonder if that necklace... Let me just grab this other necklace here. has got that end on it. Ooh, it's on the floor. Yes. Did it break? No, I think they're uh, okay. Oh, good. Phew. Durable crystals. Durable crystals. So this one has got this colour on there. So with this one, you haven't got a choice but connect it with a jump ring to your clasp. So if you wanted to add the magnetic clasp, you could, but you would have to join it with a jump ring itself. So that's the two different colours you do. I got both of them in my stash, of course, because <laughs> I think <laughs> Sarah is just laughing there. Because you everything in your stash because depending on what you do you use different different type of findings and different types as well so they are your clots they are really very useful um interesting i don't like using color number one i find the top piece can come undone and it never goes around so if you um pull it really hard that little ribbon at the end will pull out but sometimes that can save our necklace as well because if something tags on your necklace or like <laughs> if uh, my Christopher whenever when he was little when I picked him up the first thing he would do is try to get my necklaces off if something is like that um I use it with magnetic clasp so when you tug on it the magnetic clasp will give away and the necklace will come apart if I use it with a lobster clasp if I pull it what's going to give away first is that loop so that's why I do like to use it with the magnetic clasp themselves but um, it's it's you know it's what what you prefer I do use both of them right carrying on we have next row the rings now, again, we need to do something with this, Sarah. Because we have loads of sort of ring oh, yeah, nice. findings. There we go. Oh, you could do a cocktail. Oh, yes, you could do a cocktail ring and all sorts of rings. So I'm just picking up some of them. We have got with closed loops and they got particular sizes so they are a good one to have i find the ones where you can change the size sometimes i find that um sort of pinches against my skin mm. because i need to open them so much to fit my large sausage fingers that <laughs> Sarah just laughing over there. So I, I prefer these sort of kinds when it's like all closed and if I put on, it's going to be nice and comfortable and there's no pinching feelings anywhere. And um, the one which is open up and closes, um, then you can adjust the size. So if you're making it for somebody, um, probably these ones are great because you can, as you pull them apart, they get bigger. Um, or this one as well. This closed one, it comes in three different sizes. So there is a um, 60 millimeter, there's an 80 millimeter, and there is a 20 millimeter. And it comes in a couple of different designs as well. So it comes with that design I just had on, and it comes with this design as well, and with just a plain sort of um, 
bangle and interesting thing about the two different designs that the loops sit on it the different way so this one the loops sit on it vertically and this one the loops sit on it horizontally so how you would connect things to it it would be a, a different and you could do different things with both of the rings because these loops sit in a different way so if I um, wanted to like add a big seed bead loops or something like that um, you would connect it to differently to each one of those rings but they're both great I think we should do something with these ones don't you think Lorna's asking could you use the wire protector at the top of the buttered men my hubby was upset when he lost his off of his key ring thinking it might be a stronger connection wire protector so probably the wire snap there um i have a little think how we can make it a little bit um stronger because uh, they they good for like handbags but um with your keys and i well i don't know i don't like to say like how is your hobby with his keys but i definitely do chuck my keys all around so they goes in my pocket it goes in my handbag it goes on the table and you, you're a bit more rough of it them aren't you so i think if you definitely want to use it as a key charm um or a, a key ring then uh, you might need to add a different connection to the top wouldn't you say just maybe just to get it through the um, maybe a thicker wire get it through the body and the head just to make that connection because the arms are going to be alright but um, I'm doing all this here <laughs> looking just like a button just, man just like a button man I'm looking here uh, in the corner but um, yeah so I, I have a little thing and I'll post something up right wire protectors wire protectors right these are again or wire guardians they're called as well little horseshoe shaped findings I'm just going to pop one on the top here so i can bring it up um, you would go in the wire with one of these channels and then go around it and come back on the other side and do your crimping here now if you use this obviously the clasp would sit inside this channel because when you wear a necklace or bracelet or anything it's constantly rubbing against them just looking if I got anything oh look I do have one using the wire protector so like this one this one is actually got two on there because we're doing two rows um, your wire, if I didn't have the wire protector on there, would rub against that clasp over and over and over again, and it would make it would make um, it would it, it can break your tiger tail as well because over time, um, you know, it can weaken your tiger tail. So we use these wire protectors, and you need to crimp it underneath it. So you either um, use a crimp cover here if you want to cover up your crimps or you can just leave it like this is the bracelet I was talking to you earlier when I we did the chain mail for beginners that it's not the chain mail for holding up your bracelet because there is a piece of tiger tail going through those crystals but it's a really lovely one to do but this one uses the split rings themselves so again <laughs> this is something what uh, you should have in your stash would you say Sarah definitely I'm just going to pop this up. Again, it comes in six different colours, so you could have um, any of them. Right, brooch pins. We do so many different brooch pins. This is the smallest one we do, with two holes. And I think we had, we, well, not I think, <laughs> I did that um, brooch the other day when I was cheating because I didn't make the flowers, I just made the, made the leaves. I did have did say to Sarah, like I have to confess something, I did cheat it on your rose, because I added a already made acrylic rose to the leaves. It looks beautiful. But she said it's fine, I'm allowed. <laughs> she said I'm, I'm, al I'm allowed to cheat. Right, so here, and this one has got three holes. So whatever you do wire work stitching anything you do you would stitch it or go through those two holes to secure it onto it and i should have bought the brooch in actually because i i left it at home is thing at home is thing with me i'm not giving it back right other brooch pins we have like this one this one is good so now because winter is here <laughs> and we all have to get those um 
You all Margaret have would like to know if you've got any sterling silver rings, please. Like ring findings? Yeah. We don't, I'm afraid. We don't do them in sterling. We could do, I could have a look, but it's like there are so many different sizes. Which one are we going to stock? So this ones are pins again, and we do so many different designs. Um, there is that one with the. Uh, is that a fish? Yes, no, it's a cat. I'm looking at it this way, I'm thinking it's a fish, and actually, in fact, it's a cat, bless. Oh my God, it's Friday, Sarah, what am I thinking? I can't even, I need an eye test. <laughs> there is a butterfly. Then, if you're into your steampunk things, there is a skull. Oh, I love this one, I love, love this one. This one is has got a little nice decorative um round on it Ooh, and we got the flower i love this one as well oh this is really pretty yes that's definitely a flower i didn't look at it something else and there is one more flower so we got quite a few designs for this. Actually, we should do something with these ones because I really love. Now, these ones, they work sort of the same way. You unpick it, put it through. I would use these ones because the pins are thicker on these. I would use these ones on jumpers and something like that, but you got like a knitwear. And the thinner one, is it can be... With the thinner one, because you haven't got so much room here, you would probably use this on your t-shirts or maybe on the top of your jacket. Um, this gives you a really tight um, finish, if that makes any sense. Now this one I'm going to pick up, and actually I'm going to show you on the, my jumper here. So you can use it as an accessorize as well, because you can, and I'm going to just quickly change the camera. So, because you can pull your fabric together with it as well. So, if you wanted to add like a little, um, you know, anywhere on your waist or your top, you can pull your fabric together and it sits really nice. And that obviously would have some beads or something dangling down from them, making That's them even more pretty. Chain, isn't it? Yeah, Maybe beads we'll and do, chain or, do a or tutorial. yeah. Would you let me. Um, Brenda's asking, could you consider putting together a sterling silver pack of clasps, please? Yeah, could do. But I'll tell you what, we do, um, <laughs> the, I do a separate video and we go through the sterling silver as well because we do have different clasps. And sterling silver, I think they deserve their own slot because they are a little bit more expensive and a little bit more special. So if you're making something for somebody, um, you know, that little bit of extra love, I think, there that I always use sterling silver. So if I make something for my cousins or mom or anybody, I do use sterling silver findings. But these these ones do work exactly the same. And I would dangle my beads or anything down from the bottom and have the top part freely closing. And that's what would sit on my um, jumper nicely. Loads of different designs. Love, love, love them. Right, um, with that, we finished a shelf. We're doing very well today. We've done two shelves. So, um, not again. Why is that sleep happening? That um, cable's just falling down. Are we all right? Are we all right? Are we good? Where is this one goes? Oh, that one's come out of the plug, lovely. Okay. Right, so the last bit. Just pull that. I might have been standing on the cable and that's why it's falling down. <laughs> but shh, don't, don't tell anybody. Kind of how our day's going, isn't it? Don't tell anybody <laughs> that it was my fault. I'm going to blame it on the cable, not, not on me. Right, so the last little shelf. So we got bits of pieces here, um, which is um, quite good. So figure of eight connector. And this is great if you, for a lot of things, this one comes in different sizes as well. So, it's just like a figure of eight. It's open there and you can add things to it. So, I could add what I have here. I'm just going to add this clasp on it. Then you would close this end in and connect it to something else, what you want to connect it to. And close that in, that and 
I'm talking and showing it to you and you can see me and I'm showing here with the oh ah. Friday it's Friday guys and I'm on a delay so I can't yeah, see yeah <laughs> so um you can connect things to it now so if you're making like um I think I got a necklace there which was joined with jump rings there just grab this one so if you make a necklace where you make little eye pin make connectors out of um, your eye pins with your beads you could connect this with a jump ring or you could connect it with one of these connectors they are really great as well you can use it for loads of different things Right, moving on. You can use uh, those for our geometric rings as well, can't you? Yeah. The geometric shapes. Yes, of course you can. You got like civil swivel swivel findings for um um your if you want to do it on your key rings or anything like that. Um, we also have animal links here. This this last shelf is a sort of what enamel. <laughs> Did I say animal? Oh, so I'm just saying yes, I'm, I'm so bad. Like sometimes I want to say something. Let me just add myself to the side. I want to say something and something else comes out. Enamel. These are great. They can brighten up your jewellery. So you could make a little bit of a beaded chain and just add this into the middle, connect it to it from both sides to sort of add a little bit of decoration. This comes in four different colours. So four, five, five colours we have so they are great as well just pop these back moving on we have these bracelets so these are great as well they just connect on and you can decorate these sieves you can add beads or anything to it i love them so they we used um, that kind of matches the earrings that i did yeah doesn't it so you could make a matching brooch here, um, what's the terminology for this one, Sarah? A hair, a hair slide. Hair slide, that's it. I, w I wanted to say hair grip and hair slide in the... Come on, Bird, and I almost, I almost said hair, hair bag. It's not a hair bag. Oh, well, it's Friday. I think um, we need we'll a good... A, 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 we, need, we need a glass of wine tonight. <laughs> so they are really great because you would... I like to do this with wire work and actually I might do a video on this because you can make really great hair pieces. Like, not just for weddings because something like this you would think that you would only use it for weddings but um, you can use it for... Um, you can make it any colour. Just a little decoration to put it on the... So I would put it on the back of my hair just to hold my hair together there and just gives you a little bit of sparkle. Rose with your leaves would look lovely on that. Yeah, that yeah, could do that. You could put that on as well. Um, so we got those. We have little um, Sarah got brain freeze again. Hair pins. pins. So they would use if you want to put your hair up in a bun. They are really great as well. And I would just add just one little bead at the end or something or wire work it on there. Makes it just a little bit of sparkle in the side of your bun. They're great as well. Um, we have mobile phone plugs, which I think I'm not sure. Let me just open this up. I'm not actually sure if mobile phones do have these plugs. My one hasn't got this anymore. No. But um, you have got bits like this and that one is already got something on there and if you got this other one I'm not going to take it out of the bag this is a black one with a little jump ring so you can make up your own little decoration to go on the top of your phone or wherever um, your little plug in there what you plug the audio in so why this is good because if you got this in your phone and you plugged in there is no water or anything can get never in there seen that before. Sarah said she'd never seen it before That's see I can show one. you something new there you go. And what I see, which is interesting here, oh, these ones. So, spectacle holders. I think, was it Ezra? Somebody was asking about this. No, no, um, you don't need anything special for spectacle holders. You're just going to make as long line of beads as you need to, to, to go around your neck and sort of come down uh, where you want your spectacle to end up when you're not using it. This is what you use because these rubber rings are expand so I could and no matter how thick is your spectacle 
what's this the stem what's the side what's this this the part arm. the arm yeah. the spectacle the arm is it will go through it and on the other side you're connecting to your um the row of string of beads you have there you could do it in any decoration we should do this one as well uh, lords is asking if you sell watch faces no. and jody wanted a link to something but i'm not sure what it was can you just Oh, right, um, we don't sell watch faces at the moment. We did have a factory we were dealing with um, quite a few years ago, but um, they don't sell over the internet. So when we do go, do go on our factory tours and buy, buying things, we used to get them and then they move the factory shop and on that. You know what? Next year I'll be looking into it because I think it would be nice to do some watch watches as well, wouldn't they? I do. I ask you about watch faces a lot. Yeah, but uh, long story short, not at the moment. Right, hair bands, and I just get they come. We have got three different sizes. So this is four, six, and is this eight millimeter? The last one, the thicker one. Four, six, and eight mil. Um, so depending of how thick is it, you can add beads or stuff on the top of it. You can wire wrap it. You can do so many different things with. It. But um, you know, you can just add flowers going all the way around. They're really great one to do. Um, you can use them as tiara bands. I'm trying to get into the frame, and Andres realized I need to zoom out so you can see it better. You can do so many different things with it you can use your tiara bands or you can make it as little hair bands with little flowers on the top i think they're really cute very relaxing very uh, nice make so you got three different sizes four mil six mil and eight mil i would match so if you're using if you want to use four millimeter cubes which you did with the four millimeter then use the four millimeter band if you want to use something wider then go for a um wider band and what we have here we got some really lovely pendants and actually it's good i zoomed out because there is so many of these tibetan style pendants and when they say tibetan style is referring to that antique silver look what you get but these are start from i think a pound and some of them with the rhinestone goes up to the most expensive is 10 pound but these are all um 150 this one is 250 um they just jazz up your um there's ma so many different ones here so i can't possibly get um all of them out but um just gonna get a few out to show you these are great. I mean, this one is £2.50 a piece, but it's a really nice focal point on your necklaces. So if you're just doing a straightforward stringing, and sometimes I can't stress it this enough, less is more, that um, you just want to do like a single strand of pearls or a single strand of crystals, by adding something like this to the middle of your necklace can make it really elegant, really, you know, just make it really nice but there's a few more different ones there where is the skull kilt pin that you had just i'm finding out for you jody i'm trying to find some stock for you here where did you get it from yeah uh, there there's loads uh, there. fab thank you i love 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 this one look at this how sparkly is this but it is sparkly, but because it has that antique silver finish, it is still quite um, subtle. I think that's the word I'm looking for. So they are really great one to use on your necklaces just on the uh, middle. Have They have like a little, this one has got a little loop. This one's got a little loop as well at the back. This one is, uh, the loop is at the top, um, how you connect them up. So... I'm not going to get them all out, I keep saying, and I keep getting them out, because I love, love, love all of them. I mean, look at this. This one is so cute. A little bird's nest. This one, you have to connect this one with something else at the top. There's butterflies, there's other hearts, there is some round ones. They are really, really great one. And look at this one. I love this one. 
look at this i mean i'm not sure if i would use it in this in the middle of a necklace or i would use it on um, somewhere else but uh, this one you can actually open up you can put beads inside it so i'm just gonna put a couple of bits what have i got now actually will this necklace fit in it might do you could put something inside it now it won't fit in it but you get the idea that's that's too big something smaller would um you get you can has it inside it. it's a little bead cage just pop that in there and then you can see that it's inside it i love it i really really do love this one right so moving on from this we have some little rhinestone pendants here these are great as well again this one you wouldn't need to do much with it you could just put it on a little chain or anything like that stay three pound fifty um they're just little pendants i think they look great and um, use it in your designs many different colors of those ones and some of the bigger ones i love 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 these ones these are 10 pound each but they are really really special they are really sparkly it's hard look at this heart i'm just going to show you this is eight eight pounds and look at that look at the sparkle you get and it's a quite a nice and a big size i have got or oh, the butterfly look at the butterfly how special is that and the large flower now i got i have got this large flower and i got this heart as well at home and i do wear it um quite often if i want to wear something just with a silver chain but i want to wear something more and i'm just going to turn this around so i can show you in comparison if i put it on my chest how big is it so it's just sort of the right size that it's big enough that it's a feature but it's not too big so it's not over the top and i got i got this one as well i should have put it on and I wear it so just with a little dress or anything like that if you go and get you don't want to make too much effort just pop one of these on Camille's saying that flower would make a nice brooch as well you could wire wrap it onto a brooch couldn't you or something this one mm. of course so you could yeah. yeah I mean have a look at that if I put it here That's nice. yeah oh yeah it would make a really lovely brooch these ones are 10 pound but look how many diamonds are in there there is so many diamonds they just really really sparkly i just really do love it um uh, jody the skull kilt pin isn't on the website but it will be soon so we'll yeah. put a link up when it is yeah so Sim Sim simon and one is going to sort out and this is one the large snowflake again this has got larger crystals so this one is great as well but again you could have it as a pendant i mean how great is that christmas if you go into a christmas party just wear well no i'm i am keep saying all these parties yeah. when talking about this christmas uh, this morning about christmas but just because you're not going to go to a party just because you're not going to go out that doesn't mean you can't dress up and can't make a thing of it so you could even if you just have a zoom meeting you could put something christmasy on and be you know and get um you could still put your Christmas jumper on and everything else, so you keep excited about it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna. <laughs> now the weather is changed. Now I'm ca I can get my Christmas jumpers out of the cupboard. Right, moving along, just a few more bits here, and I think that will be today. We ke we keep sort of running over little wire um, pendants again. Now these ones are great because you can decorate them further. So you can. Um, there's a heart shaped one as well. They are made of wire and um, i would probably decorate them with seed beads or tiny little crystals that would look great as well um i think you know it's just again something different to play with something different to um i'm just the same time i'm trying to pop these pendants back because they the guy's gonna tell me off that um, i'll keep getting everything out and then um and never put things back so as I go along, I try, I try to, I was tidy today, wasn't I, Sarah? You were. We started off well. <laughs> we, st we started off well. Although there is a tray, is, the trolley is quite full now, <laughs> but best intentions. Eh? That's what, isn't that what they say? So they are really great, those pendants as well. You can use them in all sorts of different settings. Um, where is this one go there or oh, this is my favorite one i love i love love this one this is very big crystal you know me i was definitely a magpie in a previous life and um 
my Mac, I got, I still got Mac by spirit. <laughs> Anything sparkly and I'm there and I just, I just love it. Um, I really do. Right. So those on them. And then all we have left is the diamond spaces, which Sarah, you used in your bracelet not long ago. Yeah, um, these them. ones come in different sizes, different shapes. So I'm just going to, this is the one we used in the bracelet. Actually, I'm going to use this pin. Just open that up a little bit so I can pick it up for you and show it to you. And um, they, the diamonds, go all the way around. Again, just really spot. You can use them as spacer beads. You can use them on the own. Just really sparkles your jewelry up, no matter what you do. So these are six millimeter. Then we have oh, I love, love, love these ones. Now these ones are great because they are round. These ones are little, and I think they got a tiny bit smaller hole. Just pop it then. They are cube shape, so they can be something really. Look at all the sparkle you get on it. That you can have something really special on um, between beads. There's also um, different shapes, like this one is a bit more rounder. Let me just pop these back, and then I show you that one. This one is a little bit rounder shape. There is the hole on it. So you've got more of a sparkle on there for you. Well, let me just get these out of the background so we could focus on this. It looks great. I love it. I love all things sparkly. And where is the other one? Where we have. No, 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 the one. I think that's a different shelf, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that's on a different shelf. I'll have to. I will show you this side next time. But we got a diamond spacer, which is a bead cap as well. Oh, there we go. Oh, I have put laid my hand on it. So we got these ones as well. These ones, not along. It's a diamond spacer. And let me just pop that on the end of the bin. And bring it up, not sure the hole, it's a bit small, but it's very really So it's not a long, it's a diamond T spacer, but it's a bead cap as well. So if you've got a round bead, which I have, can you just pass me that necklace, any sort of 8mm ish, not a uh, burgundy one. So if you have a bead, you, as you string this on, that bead cap part of it is going to go over the beads. This one is a really great one to use as well in your designs. Just really sparkles it up, spruces it up. Um, very nice one to have. Sarah, do you want to come back to say goodbye? I've been answering most of your questions if I can and I've been putting links up to everything mm. so hopefully you've all got what you need. Put the back on that. Yeah, don't don't put anything on the trolley. It's not I'm not safe. gonna. No, 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 definitely, definitely, <laughs> definitely not, not this one. Definitely not oh, <laughs> So that's it from us today. I hope you enjoyed the session. I, I sorry, I didn't really have time. That, well, it didn't. It's not like I didn't have time, but I didn't really keep um, looking at the questions. Look, looking at the questions. Lots of suggestions. So, I've been trying to keep yeah. you all up to date with the links. Jody, the skull um, kilt pins. I'll put up a link to those when they're on there as well. Um, Question okay, I think to you: right. Anything for Halloween? Oh well, 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 well. Um, I don't know if you watched yesterday, um, Angela, but um, with Christopher, we are. We've been having a little play. We're doing some little spiders, so you never know. <laughs> might be spiders might be coming. I, spiders I'm, and spiders' webs. That'd yeah. be good. I'm, I'm so bad with spiders. I, all creepy I'm not good. No. If anything comes in the room, I'm straight on the top of the table and probably screaming at the top of my and asking Simon to come and sort it out. <laughs> come and get rid of him. Oh, Lem, someone was just asking for that last spacer bead. I'll go and do that now. Yeah, I'll show you that. So that's it from today. Have a lovely. Friday. Friday. Yeah, it is Friday. Oh my God, I'm so bad today. I think I definitely... I'm just going to drip feed you with words all day, aren't I? I know, yes, that, that's going to be it. That's going to be it today. And um, yeah, so we're back tomorrow at 10 a.m. Do have a lovely Friday. Enjoy whatever you do. Keep on beading. Keep on crafting. Um, stay safe, everybody. See you later. Bye.